the next presentation post number 92 reconstruction of street heroin with legitimately used psychopharmaceuticals and the other substances the authors are Suarez VD Mutumala KM Virasinga DPP Velagedara uh, RL the presenting author Suarez VD Good evening everyone. I am Dinar from uh, the National Narcotic Laboratory of the National Dangerous Drugs Control Board. Uh, actually, uh, I am going to talk, talk about the emerging trend of uh, adulteration of straight heroin from the uh, legitimately used pharmaceutical drugs. As you are aware, the uh, drugs of abuse and drug trafficking is a severe threat to the uh, social economic balance and uh, the people of the country. Uh, uh, coming to my top topic, the heroin, uh, which is being adulterated and diluted with uh, many some substances in order to uh, get a profit, a huge profit, out of uh, uh, mixing together with uh, less value pharmaceutical drugs with heroin to uh, gain a huge profit and to market uh, new substances like uh, new psychoactive substances uh, by labeling it as heroin and to increase the psychoactive effect. And uh, the methodology uh, we have been using uh, the National Narcotics Laboratory, we get samples from the uh, uh, Police Narcotic Bureau. Uh, they, they, they use their uh, uh, intelligence officers to collect those samples and bring those samples to the, uh, with, the, with the chain of custody procedure to the laboratory. And uh, the, we do uh, uh, thin layer chromatography analysis and uh, gas chromatography analysis and uh, uh, plus uh, gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, and gas chromatography, uh, flame ionization detector analysis. From uh, those uh, analysis, uh, we got the results from uh, 2016 to 2018. There, there were co commonly identified substances in street terrain in Sri Lanka, unlike uh, other countries. Heroin is being diluted in every country, but in Sri Lanka, uh, diazepam, which is a depressant, and caffeine, acetaminophen, we call uh, paracetamol, which is uh, every year it is there in those street terrain samples. Uh, in 2017 and 2018, uh, tofisofam, tofisofam, olanzapine, those are uh, 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 one is uh, anti. Uh, psychotic agent and uh, the other one is uh, anxiolytic agent. Then uh, uh, those have been used to dilute uh, in 2017 and 2018. And 2018, uh, 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 tramadol, uh, which has been uh, uh, described by the previous present as well, it has been used by the uh, by uh, for the dilution of uh, uh, street terrain, which is a, a narcotic a analgesic, and uh, uh, chlorodiazepoxide, which is again uh, a benzodiazepine uh, sub substance, which is being used, and other subst other pharmaceutical substances like dextromethorphan, and ethophylline, theophylline. Itocloxib, uh, uh, those substances are, are uh, used for uh, adulteration of uh, street terrain. And uh, coming to my conclusion, we see a rapid increase of uh, use of uh, different type of pharmaceutical drugs in the street uh, uh, heroin samples, so which is directly uh, abu used and uh, consumed and abused by those uh, uh, drug dependent persons and we believe uh, there is a uh, uh, immediate attention uh, from the medical practitioners uh, with regards to this. Uh, thank you very much. 
Thank you. The paper is open for discussion. Uh, in your poster, in the, the area you have displayed the results. Yeah. Uh, now, in those circles, you have mentioned that uh, in 2016, the caffeine 105%. Yeah. In 2018, again, caffeine 65%. And in 2017, again, caffeine... Seven, what does this figure it is, mean? It is actually caffeine and paracetamol we consider okay. because diazepam is a depressant. Diazepam is uh, used by uh, drug-dependent persons when there is no uh, 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 heroin available in the market. So caffeine and paracetamol is taken out from uh, uh, to the uh, that graph, uh, coming into the point when some some samples has caffeine only and some samples has paracetamol only, but some samples both caffeine and paracetamol present uh, in both samples. So they counted two samples counted uh, one sample counted as two. That is why it uh, comes as uh, that that uh, uh, figure. This the wha what do you what do you mean by hundred five percent? It's uh, it's like this. Uh, uh, 55 samples. There were uh, 2016. We we were received uh, uh, 75 uh, samples of street heroin. Five, 55 had uh, 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 caffeine, and uh, 23 had uh, 23 had acetaminophen. infinite means paracetamol. So 75 into 78. We calculated that that way and into uh, 100 percent so it comes 105 how do you think uh, this this process exactly happens from where does the heroin comes and from where probably this mixing happens yeah it's like this sir uh, now heroin is originated in two uh, regions uh, in the uh, in the global one is called uh, Golden Triangle and one is called Golden Crescent. Golden Triangle is uh, based on Myanmar and which is not uh, diverted from there to Sri Lanka. We haven't identified that one, but there could be. And uh, the other place is uh, uh, Afghan based or uh, Afghan origin uh, uh, heroin, which is uh, originated in Golden Crescent. And from Afghan to it comes to Pakistan or Iran, and from there, there's a coastal border called uh, uh, Macron Coast. From that Macron Coast to uh, Macron Coast to uh, the Southern Sea Route, it is being deliver, uh, diverted. Uh, it is being uh, deli delivered uh, to uh, Asian region. So we are we and the African region get from that uh, routing. And this, uh, from the southern route, it goes to European Union as well. Okay, so what are the what are the possible smuggling points then? The Macron Coast is no. the uh, possible uh, migrant no. point. Into Sri Lanka. Uh, Sri Lanka actually, we ha we have been uh, our uh, study is actually going to that extent. Uh, most of the time, coastal border has uh, higher heroin heroin uh, purity. So like uh, sometimes it goes to uh, 70, more than 70% pure heroin. Sometimes it uh, reaches 84% uh, we have received. In the laboratory analysis, we get 90% uh, free base heroin, uh, which is, uh, which, is, which cost uh, one, uh, 150 lakhs. But, uh, but when it uh, comes to 84%, you can purchase it uh, for uh, 1500 rupees that is that that is the uh, severe issue and most of the drugs that you have mentioned that are as mixed they are prescription only drugs so how yes. do they get these they they have receipt channels uh, as mentioned by uh, the previous presenter they uh, those uh, tho those traffickers they are uh, 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 they are I'm sure they are expert, they are medical practitioners of diluting those substances together and doing the, I mean, uh, the, 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 the trafficking thing. 
Right, thank you. Thank you. We'll give a round of applause to the presenter.